go. Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, I'm Teacher Anjali, your science teacher. Again, what's my name? Okay, very good. So last time, oh, before we proceed to our lesson, let's check your attendance. Who is absent for today? Anyone is absent for today? Oh, I think everyone is here and excited to learn our lesson for today because everyone is present. Okay, so before we go to present, let's go back to our past lesson. Okay, so what was our topic last meeting? Anyone? Yes, what was our topic last meeting? Okay, very good. And what did you learn from our topic last meeting? Yes? Okay, very good. Do you understand our topic last meeting? So we can proceed now to our new topic because you learned so much from our topic last time. Okay, before we, uh, we start our topic or our new lesson, let's play a game. Who wants to play a game? Okay, so let's group the class into four groups. And let's count. One, two, three, and four. Okay? Okay, and then go to your group. Okay, and now our game for today is charades. Anyone knows what is charades? Okay, you will act what is the given words. And then your group mates will guess what is the given words. Okay? And the most points will be the winner of our game. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? Okay. Is everything clear? Okay. So let's start. Okay. So the group 3 won our game. So are you ready for our topic for today? Okay, so do you have any idea what is our topic today based on our games? Okay, it's a, it is all about the environment. Okay, so our topic for today is about biotic and abiotic. So we will differentiate what is the difference between biotic and abiotic factors. So, what is biotic and what is abiotic factors? Before that, what is ecosystem? Ecosystem, it is composed of our environment from water to soil to air to plants and animals. Even us, we are parts of the environment. So we have the biotic and abiotic factors. When we say biotic factors, it is living things. They can breathe. Okay, everyone can you exhale? Exhale. Okay, so if you are biotic factors, you can breathe. You can move. Okay, move your hands. Okay, so you are biotic factors. And then they can reproduce. Okay, so these are examples of biotic factors. We have the coconut. Coconut is living or non-living? Okay, very good. It is living. How about the bear? It is living or non-living? Okay, it is living. How about humans? Boys and girls, are they living? Yes, they are living. How about the camel? Is it living or not living? Okay, they are living. How about the car? Is it living or not living? Okay, so they are not living. And how about the leaf? Are they living or not living things? They are living things. Okay, once again, when we say biotic factors, these are the living things in 
our ecosystem. How about the biotic or abiotic factors? Abiotic factors, these are the non-living organisms. For example, this water is non-living things. They cannot produce, reproduce, they cannot move by itself, and they cannot breathe. How about this roll of tissue paper? Are they living or non-living? Okay, they are non-living. How about this marker? Are they living or non-living? Yes, very good. They are non-living. How about the tape dispenser? Are they living or non-living? Okay, they are non-living. How about the eraser? Are they living or non-living? Okay, they are non-living. So, do you have any question between biotic and abiotic? Okay, so if you don't have question, I have question. Again, what is the difference between biotic and abiotic factors? Okay, very good. Biotic, it is living organism and abiotic is non-living things. Okay, look around in our classroom. Can you guess or can you name a living or abiotic factors inside our classroom? Yes. Yes, your classmate is a bio, uh, are biotic factors. How about you? Yes, the plants are biotic factors. How about the abiotic factors? Can you look around? What are the abiotic factors here in our classroom? Okay, very good. Your chairs are abiotic factors. What else? Very good. Your books are abiotic factors. Anyone else? Yes, the electric fan is abiotic factors. So, I guess you learned something today. Okay, so you look, uh, can you get your notebook and then list all the non-living and living organisms in your notebook? List five each. Okay, and we will check. Are you done? Okay, let's check. Okay, so most of you get the higher score. So I think you learned our lesson for today. And then, do you want to play a game again? Okay, so let's play a game again. So let's group your class into five groups. And then we will play on the board. Okay, so you will guess or you will write if you it is biotic or abiotic factors. Okay? Are the rules clear? Okay, so the rules are clear. Okay, so number one. Birds, are they biotic or abiotic? One, two, three, go. Okay, they are biotic. How about the chairs? Write your answer. One, two, three, go. Okay. Uh, your answer, please. Okay. So the chair is abiotic. Okay. Another one. 